In this video, I'm going to talk about node version management. What do I mean by that is basically you can have multiple or a few different versions of node versions in your machine. You might wonder why you need to do that is quite obvious. Basically, uh, if you're just working something on your own, you might want to use the latest version, which is, for example, at the time of recording of this video in uh, October 2022 is node version 19. But most of the time, it's not the case. You're working, you're working on a legacy system or project that it has like, I don't know, for example, node version 12, 14, 16, or, or you're just working on AWS, for example. If you go to AWS, you can see if you're using lambdas and if you let's check let's check the run times if we just come here at the moment so i will just moving on at the moment they only support node version 12 14 and 16 so your lambdas only support any of these three versions and if you look at the node version in the node.js website the latest version of LTS is 18 and the current version or the latest version is 19. So you might have different systems and as a result of that, you might have different versions for every project you have. One way of fixing it is to use a node uh, version management. How do we do that? Basically, there is a tool called NVM. So you can see it here. If you just go and look for NVM, pretty much the first thing will come true. It will be this repository and the installation would be very simple. If you just follow it, uh, follow me, you're going to get there very quickly. How you can, what you can do and how you can achieve different versions will be in a few minutes. Once, once we install the NVM in our machine, what I'm trying to teach you now, it's, it's easy to install on Mac and Linux. If you're going to use Windows, there are different tools, but pretty much all of them really doing the same thing. So let's just move on. And the installation is very simple. If you just follow the whole thing, the, the readme, we can just see how we can install it. I'm going to copy the curl command, which is going to download and then install it for us. Paste it here. There we go. It's going to install everything. Now everything is there. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a few things in my ZSHRC file. Because I'm using Mac OS in this example, in this tutorial, I'm going to, and my, my bash is ZSH. So I need to add some stuff in my ZSH. If you're using bash, then you need to add the file and this configuration to your dot bash RC file. Depends on the terminal you're using and the bash you're using. So you need to use if, uh, you need to put some commands and uh, some configuration in your ZSHRC or bash RC. So if you scroll down a little bit, you are going to see some commands that we have to copy and move them to basically here. So we need to just really put them in our bash RC. If you're using bash or profile or ZSH RC, I'm using ZSH. So I'm going to really copy these things and then open the ZSH. Basically for bash RC, ZSH or anything else, they are very simple. All you have to do is to just open it in your terminal, something like this. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use anything you want and then you give the file address. If you're using bash RC and then it's very simple to just put bash RC. I'm not using bash RC, I'm using ZSH. So I'm going to just add it to ZSH. So I have all of these things in my ZSHRC file, dot ZSHRC file. I'm going to save it and moving on. The next thing I need to do, I need to just close and open my terminal again, and then I'm going to have some commands available to me. So let's just close it and then open it again. So make sure you just quit your terminal completely and then open one more time. There we go. I'm here. I'm going to go to code YouTube NVM demo. That's what I wanted to do. And the next thing you can do is just make sure if your NVM has been installed or not, you can just do NVM and then press enter. If you get something like this, just bunch of commands and parameters, 
then it means it was installed correctly. If not, just follow uh, some troubleshoots or something in the internet or here then you can see exactly what you have to do it's really straightforward you shouldn't really get any errors but if you do i think if you follow the readme you're going to find out what was the issue as i said it's only working at the moment in uh, linux and also if you're using for example ubuntu or and also in mac os if you're going to use windows if i scroll up a bit okay here then you have alternatives like NVM Windows, Nodist, and NVS. But this tutorial is purely for Mac OS and Linux. In order to manage a node version in your project, one way of doing it is to easily switch with NVM or just automate the whole work. So to do that, you have to create a file called NVMRC. So I will just create the file. So let me just type it, touch, Dot nvm.rc in any directory you are working or so your project once we have done it let me just open it in visual studio code and let's moving on with that one so i'll open the current directory and there we go so i have it in vs code the file is empty what we have to do is to just go and find out what version do we want to use for this project my project is absolutely empty so if i do ls there is nothing in the uh, directory so if I do LL I think there we go so I only have one file nothing really more but you get the idea you usually have a lot of files here source directory test and everything but we don't want to continue with that okay so moving on we have NVMRC if we go to the node.js depends on the version we want to use for that project we will just copy the version here I'm going to use version 18 for example and all I have to do is just to put 18 12.0 so putting it this one back in i am going to move here so i'm going to put 18.12.0 i'll save it come back to terminal and all i have to do is just to do nvm install when i do nvm install it's very straightforward it looks for nvmrc file the one we created if there is in any file like nvmrc in the current directory it's going to pick up the version from there so i'll just press enter and it will give me the version from 18.12.0 the one we just put here let's just change change it to version 19 and that would be very simple so all i have to do is to just do 19.0.0 and looking at this one yes this is the current version and all I have to do again, I just need to do NVM install. So it pick up the current version, which is version 19, and it's going to use that one. So now we have installed two versions. Assuming like we don't know, for example, we want to switch one of the versions, it's very, it's very simple. All we have to do is just to do NVM LS. So same as when you get the list of files, LS is the same here. If you type NVM LS, they will give you the installed version in your laptop and it's very simple to switch at the moment i'm using version 19 because of this flash but if i want to use version 18 again it's very simple so all i have to do is to nvm use and then i have to just give it the version so it's v18.12.0 and now i'm switching to node 18 so if i have to do node Dash dash version here I have node 18 if I just do again nvm ls I am using node 18 one way of switching is just to use nvm then use whatever version we want so let me just switch to 19 to make sure we are using version 19 as well for the node so I'll I'm gonna switch there and then I'm gonna say node version there we go I'm using node 19 so I'm going to create another directory assuming that's another project and then I'm going to install node 16 in order to get the node version 16 all you have to do is to go to download from the home page if you just click on the download then scroll down you are going to see all, all download options 
from here you're going to see the version 18 because we're talking about version 18 you just need to go one step back you will see pretty much every version existed in node.js we're looking for version 16 so the latest version 16 at the moment would be uh, if i'm not mistaken is 16.18 okay all i have to do is just to put this 16.18.0 in my nvmrc and then good to go so 16.18.0 now that i have this version I am in this directory and all I have to do is to do npm install. So it's going to install node 16.18 in my directory and at the last line it says I'm using now node 16. If I just want to do this one, it's node uh, dash dash version. Uh, sorry, I just can't type it, version. There we go. So I'm using node 16. Remember, because there is nvmrc here and I just installed it, it just changed the version to version 16.18. If I go back one step and then go to nvm-demo and now if I do node version, I have node 16. All I have to do is to just to say nvm use and then it found my nvm in the current directory and then switch to node version 19. So if I just do nvm, uh, sorry, if I do node version again, I will get node 19. So it's very simple to switch between projects, have multiple version of node in your machine and then good to go. One more thing that I want to talk about is nvm uh, help, which is going to give you pretty much a lot of cool things here. So sometimes you just want to quickly install something. It would be very simple. All I have to do is to say nvm install. And then now I know my current directory has nvmrc and it's using node 19 because I think yes, that's it. nvm demo directory has node 19, but I just want to use nvm uh, node version 17 for whatever reason. All I have to do is just to say install the latest version on 17 which is 17.9.1 so it's going to you it's going to install it but now it's, it says they're using node 17 all i have to do if i want to just get back to whatever my project was using based on nvmrc file i just need to say nvm use good i have got back to the node 19 and if i just do nvm ls now I'm going to get a few versions. My default would be version 18. And if I want to change it, it would be very simple. All you have to do is just going to do nvm help. And it will give you a few quick like examples. What I want to do is to just say nvm alias default to whatever version I want to use for default. So I have nvm ls. I have version 16. I want to make this one as a default version. All I have to do is to say nvm alias default version 16.18, etc. etc. So nvm alias default. And then I'm going to just give the version name, so which is 16.18.0. There we go, my default version will be 16. So if I do now nvm ls, then the default version has changed. If I go to any directory, then the default will be node 16, if there is no nvmrc, and it will be very easy and convenient. There are many more commands that we can use. For example, if I want to uninstall version 19, then it would be very simple. If I want to uninstall version 17, all I have to do is to say nvm uninstall and then give the version name which is v17.9.1.9.1 and on install if i can just type properly then it's going to remove it from the my my machine so if i do nvm ls now i have only 16 18 and 19. i can install pretty much a lot of things but if you go through the help, you can see, you can just pretty much see 
a lot of different examples. If you want to run your file, a specific file based on run, uh, for example, node six, you just do this one. If you want to change the default, then which we did, so you can just change the default to a specific version. If you want to install, uninstall, remove something, add something, there are all of them here. And if you just do NVM help, you're going to get pretty much all the possible things you can do with NVM, which is installing, removing, changing alias, updating to the latest version or anything else you want. So my friends, this one was just how easy you could just have multiple version of Node.js in your machine. And for different projects, you can have different version of Node.js because of whatever reason you have, maybe you didn't have time to upgrade uh, the, to the latest version or your, your package and services are not really ready to be upgraded to the latest version for whatever reason, cost, time, effort, or anything else. And now you have different versions and it's easy to have different versions of Node.js in your application. You can just test the latest version. For example, the nightly version or any version existed in Node.js for your projects without really removing the whole Node.js from your system. So it's very easy and convenient now to have different versions and switch between them much easier. One way of doing it is, as I said, is nvmrc file. It's very easy and convenient. And the other way is just really switch by installing it through the CLI. So this is it for now and I'll see you in the next video.